everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Aurora from Italy and today I'm here for my very first vintage haul. The first of many, I hope. Well, you know that in this period here in Italy we can't go out shopping, but luckily for me and not for my wallet, uh, there is online shopping. And uh, as promised, I'm here today to show you some of my latest purchases that I made from Vinted. I'm really excited about them and uh, some of them are still uh, on their packagings, so we'll do some unboxing today. But before starting, let me explain what is Vinted. Vinted is an app where you can buy and sell vintage and second-hand clothes or items. This video is not sponsored, uh, I just love the app and I find it very user-friendly. So all you have to do is to download the app on your phone and uh, then the search for the item that you love is uh, very easy. You can search by brand, you can search by keyword or by your size and find uh, unique pieces to dress up your outfits or the interior design of your house. You can also find luxury pieces for a price much cheaper than the retail one. One of the first things that I bought on Vinted is this shirt. It's a silk one, uh, I just love it. When I saw it, I thought, wow, I need this in my closet. It reminds me of a Versace print and um, I love it because of its colors. I like that the silk has a little polka dots uh, pattern underneath the print. It is something that you don't usually see in uh, normal shops so that's why I like it. I think uh, I could use it to go out on a dinner with uh, friends. I would style it uh, with a very basic uh, outfit like uh, these black pants and a uh, belt with uh, golden hardware to match with the print. Now you can't stay here because I have to do the unboxing. So, yes. Second purchase. I have got this big box. Let's open it together. Here it is. Wow, I love it. This is a, the bridge briefcase. It was not an impulse buying. I needed a briefcase because my cat ate all the edges of my old one. So, really needed a new one. This one's not vintage, but surely it's inspired from the 70s. Very iconic model. Here you can put uh, the newspaper or an umbrella, that's how I think I will use it. So, this is a men's newspaper a briefcase from the brand The Bridge, that is an Italian brand from Florence. Uh, the company was founded in 1969 and um, has always done good quality leather goods. Uh, anyway, uh, in the 70s, uh, this was a new model and it was very different from uh, the ones that men used before. They were rigid and squared and very simple document holders and uh, this one it has a, a fascinating style. It's uh, something like an English uh, retro vibe with uh, uh, this good leather and uh, the edges that are how do you say it? It has a visible stitching and this reminds me of a saddle style. Then I bought two vintage belts. This one is made with a red elastic fabric. It has a golden double buckle or clasp with a hook here in the middle. Uh, the girl who sold it said it was her grandmother's and I believe it is from the 70s or from the 80s. I love its golden hardware. In the middle it seems to have uh, leather applications. The other one is made with uh, thick black leather and uh, has uh, these studs, little and big ones. And uh, then has an oblique diagonal buckle. And uh, this particular style, I think it comes from the 80s. Very peculiar. I could use it uh, on uh, a dress, not with uh, some pants because uh, it won't fit well in the holes, you know? Then I have uh, this beautiful silk scarf 
from the brand Lanvin. Here it is. Well, Lanvin is the oldest French fashion house that's still working today. Uh, Jean Lanvin has been uh, one of the first French stylists in uh, fashion history and uh, she was a woman uh, in a period when uh, women were not supposed to run a business. So I read about her story and I find it uh, very interesting and fascinating. If you're interested in her story, please uh, write a comment down below so maybe I can make a video uh, about her and her incredible creativity and strength. Well, the scarf is beautiful, uh, the hem is hand-sewn, uh, it's printed with a cornucopia drawing, uh, you know that cornucopia is a symbol of abundance and good luck, it comes from the Greek mythology. Uh, it was uh, the first purchase of uh, this uh, 2021, so I hope uh, this brings me fortune and good luck. Am I becoming superstitious? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, when I bought it, I thought it was a blue drawing, uh, but now it seems to me more black than blue. Um, maybe navy blue, night blue, black blue, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I need to steam it before wearing it. Okay, let's talk about this. We've got to talk about these. These are leather boots, western style. They are brown, they are made in Swede. Uh, the leather is very smooth. They are crafted in Italy. I like them because they are cowboy inspired and uh, they have these uh, block heels. I think I could style them with uh, denim jeans and a belt. Uh, the belt, uh, I'm still looking for it because uh, I need one of the same color. So if I find it on Vinted, uh, I will show it uh, uh, in uh, the next video. Then I have my favorite piece for this haul, that is this uh, vintage panther brooch. It has uh, shiny glitters and uh, enameled black spots. It's not made with gold, otherwise it would have cost a lot more. But uh, the metal is uh, golden coated, not everywhere, because uh, here under the glitters it's silvery to increase brightness. And uh, it has a green glitter eyes, it seems like uh, to emeralds. I find it cute and unique. It has a very dynamic pose, it seems uh, that uh, it's climbing on my sweater. Well, you know that panther is a classic shape uh, for brooch and bracelets. Uh, it's a timeless piece and the first one who introduced it uh, was uh, Cartier in 1914 uh, in uh, a watch, if I'm not wrong. And uh, many important women have worn panther-shaped brooch and jewels in the past, so I'd like to wear one too. So that is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and please, please subscribe to my channel. It's very important for me as uh, my channel is still uh, growing, it's still at the beginning and uh, I really need your support. So click on the subscribe button and uh, write in the comments if you have any suggestions for the next videos and the topics that you would like me to talk about. Thank you for watching and see you at the next Vintage Weekend! Can I move? Uh, it's been a hard day. Many preoccupations.